Patagonia. Today I'm going to the desert lake. It's gonna take us around one and a half hour from El Chantan and the driver just stopped here and let us take some pictures and oh I think it has the best view ever. We stopped by for another world point but I don't know where we're going. Oh, it's a waterfall. I didn't plan to join this tour, but I'm glad I did because the scenery on the way is amazing and today the weather is very nice too. We have arrived at the park. Um, some people go hiking right away and some of us already paid for our boat to cruise around the lake. We have to get into the car again in order to go to the pier. The pier actually is not far away from the trailhead. And I think we need to wait for a little while before the boat departs. We've been up for way too long, but I don't wanna come down. So this is our route, I believe. <laughs> it's quite a narrow lake. Could have been a long free fall, you got me off. We only stay here for four hours, so I have to go hiking now. The color of the water, so pretty. A round trip is gonna be around one and a half hour, so it should be quite relaxing. All right, let's go. This is the name of the trail. I see many people are bringing hiking poles to this trail. Seriously, only one and a half hour. Some information about this tour, um, it is 2,500 pesos. Basically, it's just a round trip transportation, uh, but the bus has a bilingual audio guide. A ticket to this area is 1,000 pesos, and then I choose to take a boat trip, which is another 4,000 pesos. So altogether is 7,500 pesos, which is like around $25. It's so cool in here, but not windy. I like it. Lunch is not included, so you have to bring your own food. I saw that there's a kiosk at the entrance where you can get some snacks and drinks, maybe. It doesn't have any sign here. I think it's only one road. Seriously, I thought it's very relaxing. <sighs> More? What the hell? All right. It's better now, I believe. Oh no. More, really? Oh my god, my right leg. Definitely, it is not a relaxing trail. It is a little bit steep. This trail is not difficult, but I walked for four hours yesterday. I'm sweating, but I can take off my hat because my hair looks like a mess. Wow, seriously. <sighs> Look at this. I think I'm almost there. It should be somewhere up there, I guess. Last bit. Where is it? Can you see that? That part is frozen. It's ice. It has a bit of rain. The lake! Finally! Oh, so beautiful! I'm done. It's nice. It's difficult, but it's nice. I think this is a um, campsite. 
um, you can bring a boat <laughs> and you can also cook at the back of your car camping is 2,000 pesos per night and you can access the trail I still have 30 minutes let's check out this area oh they have a fishing tour I wonder what they can find if you're fishing why you need to walk into the water the tour guide just told me that this area is not like a national park but a provincial reserve I just saw a few fish these are all the tourist buses but I don't see too many people on the trail there's another trail here 12 kilometers 5 hours big dream is a bridge the water is so clear I'm tired it's time to go back to the town I'm back in Alchanten I'm tired and I'm hungry let's get food I want to try this one today it is 6 30 I need to wait for my seat can you believe it in a small town like this even though its name is called Cerveceria which is a place for beer um, it has hot food I'm looking for some hot soup need to wait 20 to 30 minutes where you on my side and fulfilling and the surface is excellent highly recommend it I don't feel like I need to walk <laughs> I'm being pushed away I'm right now 